Hey Talking Fam and welcome to another Talking Sports video and today we're going to take a look back at yesterday in sports July 13th 2022 and today we have an alternate setting we are here at Lake of the Ozarks Missouri um, my dad is on a work conference so we are here in a different setting um, at a place called Canyon on the Lake I would recommend you watching uh, I would recommend you coming here it's really nice um, but um, yes yeah, so uh, I put in the I'm gonna put in the video of uh, me out uh, looking at the thing so if uh, you got if I end up can't put it in it sorry um, you miss it out but um, sorry if I can't if it won't work out but I'm gonna try my best to put it in to the video all right guys let's go out Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Please like and subscribe down below as usual. I'd really appreciate it. All right, now moving on to some NFL news, and that includes Drew Brees eyeing an alternate quarterback-only Thursday night football cast. So Amazon's looking on getting Drew Brees for an alternate cast. Um, we also have Le'Veon Bell hints at his retirement, says that he's excited for his next chapter. So, his next chapter says he wants to be in boxing. So, I'll just look at that. Next up, we have the uh, Washington Commanders owner, Dan Snyder, won't testify under the Sapona. And the uh, Cincinnati Bengals and Jesse Bates are not expected to reach a long term deal before the deadline. Uh, for the deadline. So, there we go. And one last uh, news story um, the. Cleveland Browns are among teams interested in Nenemekan Sue, and he's a very good player. He's dirty, but he's good. So I would, I would, I would they would really benefit from that. Moving on to the N, so moving on to the MLB stores of the day. The Mariners beat the Mat, the Nationals six to four. The Mets beat the Braves seven to three. The Twins beat the Brewers four to one on a walk off. The Royals. Beat the Tigers five to two. The Giants edged out the Diamondbacks last night four to three. The Mariners edged out the Nationals in Game Two two to one. The Marlins edged out the Pirates five to four, and the Yankees edged out the Reds in ten innings seven to six. The Blue Jays after the, the first game after finding their, their manager Charlie Montoya, they get a win eight to two. The White Sox edged out the Guardians two to one. The Rays beat the Red Sox four to one. The Cardinals, uh, <coughs> the Cardinals blew a six to nothing lead and lost in an edge out seven to six. The Rangers won five to two. Uh, the Orioles won seven to one. The Rockies beat the Padres ten to six, and the Angels, under the helm of Shohei Otani, who let up one earned run, seven to one. Shohei Otani had only allowed. No earned runs through 31 and two thirds innings before he let out the run. All right, now now we have some news. The Orioles last night with their win, they now have won 10 straight games for the first time in 23 years. So what a head happened there. And we have Luis Serviano to have an MRI after leaving his start last night with shoulder tightness. So we're going to have to see what's going to go on there with him. Um, and that is MLB news of the day. Moving on to the NBA Summer League. The Timberwolves, the, the Bucks beat the Timberwolves 87-75 to with the top store being Kevin, uh, being Sandro Mamotelashtafi with 18 points, 15 rebounds, and 4 assists. The Hornets beat the Cavaliers 91-80 to with the top store, being Oche Abaji and Bryce McGowan's with 24 points apiece. And then we have the Pelicans beating the Wizards 106-88 to the top store, being Dividius uh, Servitus with 25 points, 5 rebounds, and 1 assist. The Raptors beat the Jazz 80-74 to with the top store, being DJ Wilson with, um, with 22 points, 9 rebounds, and 1 assist. The Thunder beat the Kings 82 to 80 at the top store, being Keegan Murray, scored 29 points, 7 rebounds, and 2 assists. 
The 76ers just beat the Heat 75 to 71 with the top score being Hayward Highsmith. Hayward Highsmith with 17 points, um, seven rebounds, and two assists. Next up, we have the Nuggets beating the Clippers 80 to 75. Top score there being Jay Strub with uh, 18 points, seven rebounds, and two assists. Alright guys, now we have the Knicks and the Jazz have been discussing Donovan Mitchell trade recently. So we might have that going on. So that is the only news of the day for them, for the uh, NBA. So guys, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all your guys' support. So without further ado, okay, thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Peace.